This is Cleo. Safe inside a temporary home from a winter storm. These horses have seen a lot. Can you sneak out here? Good girl. 14 of them still sheltering at the Jefferson County Fairgrounds, down from as many as 80. Good girl. And among the hundreds of large animals that were evacuated from the terrifying Marshall fire. When it started to glow and we could smell it without wind. I mean, it, it was absolutely terrifying. I don't think any of the employees slept or ate in over 24 hours. Smoke rising on the horizon at Stanley Lake Stables in Arvada. 95 safely moved horses and steers. So absolutely incredible. Nellie Dirks was there. And three dogs, but they count. <laughs> They're ranch hands too. <laughs> and still marvels at how they did it. I couldn't even. I don't even know how many trailers. I couldn't even count them all. There were so many. It was a constant influx of ca cars. The large animal shelter at the Boulder County Fairgrounds quickly hit capacity, and so here at the Jefferson County Fairgrounds, they opened up their stables to horses with nowhere else to go. She means the world to me. This is whiskey. Whiskey was one of them. Nancy Dugan is her owner. You picture sparks flying and you picture horses not wanting to go in the trailer. Nancy scrambling for a possible evacuation herself. I think it's every horse owner's worst nightmare to have to evacuate under any circumstance, let alone a fire. But with Allie, a few horse owners and some total strangers, whiskey made it out. You try to keep it in perspective that some people lost everything. And when the road's clear, <laughs> she wants to go home. She has a home to return to. Stanley Lake Stables says sadly one of their older horses was not able to handle the stress of the evacuation had to be put down last night.